What's up guys? Today I will show you 10 ways how you can destroy your snooker game forever. I promise to you, if you will follow all tips, you will have a horrible snooker game and you play like trash. First tip, make sure that your grip is as hard as possible. During impact point, squeeze your cue as hard and I promise to you, your queuing will, will be horrible as a nightmare. So during the impact point, play as hard as possible, squeeze your hand, and I promise, yeah, your queuing is, will be completely off. So this is the first thing what you have to do if you want to be a horrible snooker player. Second tip, make sure that your aiming is completely off and when you are aiming to the shot, make sure that you are fishing. The more you are fishing, the more inconsistent you will be. So when you do your shot approach, you come into the table and you start to fish. This guarantees that your game will be horrible. So this is what you have to do if you want to have a bad aiming. Snooker Basics video course is a snooker training material to help you transform your snooker game and take to another level. Improve aiming, overall technique, cubo control, rest plays, snooker escapes and make proper snookers. Interested? If yes, so don't wait and order a Snooker Basics video course today. Don't have ever, ever any acceleration during queue delivery. Play as fast as possible and as hard as possible. So basically you have to play like a grandpa in the local club, you know, you have to play like this, you know. Sorry that I put the ball, it didn't should go, go on. But you, you got the idea. Small backswing and movement and this guarantees you that uh, you will miss most of the shots on the snooker table uh, move your body during the shot the more you move the worse your cueing is and cue action is so remember when you deliver your cue move your body and i'm absolutely sure that you will miss most of the shots as well so when you deliver the cue stand up So when you are moving your body, stand up like this. And I promise that your queuing will be also inconsistent. Make sure that you don't have any follow through position and your right arm as close as possible to your chest. So basically like this. In this way, you will have no follow through and uh, you will put your elbow up and this allows you not to put any balls on the table. So basically, if, you, if I play like this, my elbow will move, my cue will move off the line, and this is the best way how to have a bad cue action. Make sure that your cue tip as far as possible from the cue ball. In this way, you will guarantee that you not will aim to the center cue ball, and which allows you to play with the side spin, and the more side spin you play, the worse you put the ball. And this is the best way, do not see a cue ball center and is, this is great if you want to not to put the balls. Make sure that your bridge hand is completely off. That means not stable. So basically, why you have to play like uh, rock salt? Why you, why you need to have a rock salt sense? Better to play like this, you know, the, when the thumb is not on the V shape and the, the less control you have on your bridge, the worse you put you have. Or better you hold like this cue, you know. I think this is also a very good idea to have a horrible bridge hand. Try, you know, you know, don't use any thumb and play uh, without any control to make sure that your bri bridge moves, you know, to side. Also, a very good way to destroy your cue action. Make sure that your stance is uncomfortable as possible. Basically, stand too close to the table so you felt off the balance like this or stand too far off the table like this this allows you to have horrible body position and of course bad queuing and this is what you want to have if you want to have a horrible queuing please do that if you want to improve your aiming cue action cubo control tactics and mental game book online snooker coaching with the professional ABC snooker coach Vilus Schulte Ebert I, I forgot one thing, uh, make sure that your bridge hand is too close to the cubo. In this way you will have a, no backswing 
and no Q power. And the less Q power you have, the, uh, there is only limited shots which you can play well. So make, your, make sure that your Q is as close as possible to the Q ball and I'm guaranteed that uh, you will never improve in snooker, never. And this is what you have to do if you want to be the most horrible player in the world. Make sure that your right leg is not on the aiming line. So basically, uh, when you're playing the shots, make sure that you're standing to the left side like this. A perfect way to have horrible aiming and cue action. The more bodies away from the aiming line, the better. Or you can play like this, you know, to the right side. This allows you to have even better if you want to have a worse queuing. Uh, try to look ridiculous as possible if you want to, you know, miss most of the balls. And the last tip, make sure that you play with the square shoulders. That means with the straight shoulders when your left and right shoulder is away from the, uh, each other. And make sure that your elbow is completely off to the right like this. This allows you to have uh, like a snake queuing. Your cue will move sideways or other way around, you know, like elbow to the side. This is an absolute amazing way if you want to have a bad queuing. Okay guys, I gave you 10 tips how to have a horrible cue action. I promise, if you will follow all tips in this tutorial, uh, maybe you can become the worst snooker player ever. So try it and I believe that uh, you will have success to become a horrible snooker player. If you like this content, subscribe to our channel, hit notification bell and let, let us know what you think about this video in the comments below. So here was Willi Schulteber from the Snooker Pro Club and thanks for having me. Okay guys, let's get serious right now. Um, everybody wants to improve their snooker game and play well. So for that reason, we created uh, two video courses which are about snooker technique and cubo control. So if you are a guy who wants to improve queuing, cubo control around the table, we have a special video course. So in the, in the description below, you can read more details about uh, video course, what you can get in the course. So our goal is to give you valuable information and uh, training programs so you could progress in the best possible and efficient way. So click the link below, register to the course, get a free gift and see you very soon. Take care.